What's up, y'all? This is your girl, Go Ma. Uh, y'all, this video is about um, me going to put virgin fertilizer in my hair. As you guys know, I depot my virgin hair fertilizer, and it looks like this. Let me show you what the original... I was hoping they would nearly up, y'all. Let me turn this light down a little bit. Um, the original virgin hair fertilizer looks like this. And as y'all see, I'm already prepared for this 2019. Um, I'm going to be doing virgin hair fertilizer on a day. Even though I do my, even though I will be, be putting virgin hair fertilizer in my hair maybe twice to three times a week. I'm not sure yet. Depending on the hairstyle, you know. I'm going to be doing a new thing with you guys. I'm going to be putting virgin hair fertilizer in my hair. And we're just going to be having a random discussion about what's going on. In a little bit of real and in, in my room because ain't too much going on in my room it's gonna be on the internet real how about that everything i see like to talk about and the gossip things we got to gossip a little bit sometimes sometimes i gotta live you feel me so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna start me like a new series on my channel and hopefully you guys come along with me um to enjoy the ride and hopefully you guys will also put your virgin hair fertilizer in your hair with me in other words grease your scalp okay so um y'all look at how my hair is flourishing so uh i just going to put my hair in a section and section it off and we just gonna be talking y'all that's all you know i'm just gonna be coming on talking to y'all about what's going on in my hair maybe in my life maybe in y'all life or y'all could send me some questions i'm trying to come up with a with a, with a plan on you know a new video series that i can do something that i could talk about while i grease my scalp with y'all okay and while we grease our scalp and help each other out lord we're gonna grow this hair in 2019 um if it's the last thing we do okay let me put this hair in another let me, let me section off this hair in four sections so um i want to talk about right now y'all what y'all think about the little boy who keep doing stuff on the internet by the name of Jaquees. I know I'm late, y'all, but I don't watch TV, y'all. So, but it ain't never too late to put your two cents in to mind other folk business, okay? It ain't never too late. I don't want to talk talk about, like, celebrities all the time. But y'all give me some topics and we can discuss it if I know what the topic is. Because I don't know everything. Because, you know, <laughs> I don't be watching TV. I watch Netflix and chill. Hardly do that. Let me hardly do that i have netflix put it like that we'll put that sign better i have netflix even though i don't watch it because every time i turn on netflix i'm watching the freaking trolls or some other baby bum bum um shark do 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 so silly shark do 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 mess around with nivia so um put my hair in these four sections <sighs> y'all my hair feels so good and so clean so 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 luscious i'm just gonna section it off here and we can talk about some things just i want y'all to send me in some questions y'all can we can do some ask gold mouths but i'm gonna be trying my best trying my best to make it my business to come on here every friday to grease my scalp with you guys because I want y'all to grease y'all scalps with me. Whatever hair product you use, if you don't use virgin hair fertilizer, I mean, that's what I'm going to use, my virgin hair fertilizer. Hmm, I'm trying to think of a name to call it. Should I call it? I was thinking of Fertilizer Fridays because it's fertilizer, hair fertilizer, and, you know, trying to make my hair grow, or what? what's a, what's a funky name I can give it? I can give my little series, y'all, because I, virgin, I figured I'd do virgin hair fertilizer because that is something that I'm going to be using. That's something I would use every week, you know, every, a couple of times a week. I was going to do a, a deep conditioner one where I just deep condition and talk to y'all, but I don't want to because I don't necessarily condition my hair every week because that's a lot of work. I don't, maybe my conditioning usually is every two weeks, depending on my hairstyle, you know? So I feel like, um, 
that one that one would have been a little too much but it ain't nothing for me to come on and grease my scalp is that something in my hair y'all what is that i know y'all here snowing over there nivia's over there sleeping she over there making noise so god leave my hair so pretty and black look at how black it is i just appreciate the blackness this is not that only gray parts i got is like right up here and you know we starting a little early gray and whatever i mean not early but well, I guess, no, I ain't started to gray early. Because my mama was great ever since I was a little kid. But anyways, y'all, what's this, what y'all want to call this? Y'all chime in and let me know, you know, what's good with y'all. You know, look, shout out to those eyebrows on fleek. You see that? Girl, if you don't, eyebrows, if you don't cut it out, honey. I am loving the, it's gotten better. And I, I was able to cut it. And once I cut it. I feel much better about it now that I feel like they more even than they was, but, and not too drastic. I like them drastic though, but, and I feel like if I do, do this, I need to get myself an eyebrow lift, because once I, like, do this and count to, like, 15 or whatever, then my eyebrows have, that like, like, this perfect heart. <laughs> I don't know, y'all, I'll just be making up stuff, but, so, I'm going to go ahead and start with my virgin hair fertilizer, which I already depotted and put in my um, influence or, or, or edge control uh, container. So, I like to talk about what's going on in the world. Sometimes, sometimes I don't. But, y'all, what y'all think about Jacquees? I was trying to say that. So, y'all know Jacquees, the, the one that's saying bed and the one that's saying he, he rather be with you and all your, I don't know what the, your BS, so, what y'all think about him, y'all, he had disrespected Keith Sweat to the utmost, and I was, when he said he was the king of R&B, and whatever, or whatever, I blowed that off, or whatever, thinking, okay, he, you know, he just a little in, you know, into himself, or whatever, but when he disrespected Keith Sweat, I felt some type of way, now, come on, Keith Sweat, not keep sweat. Little boy. Are you serious? Are you serious? You know, I mean, in his face. Like, come on. The people was asking Keith Sweat about the king. And he just jumped in there and was like, I'm the king. And I'm like, really? Boy, sit your little tail down somewhere before you get your little behind toe up. That's how I felt. He need a whooping. I felt like he need a whole whooping. Whooping. Okay? He just was doing too much. And I feel like he was very disrespectful. And I feel like he owe Keith Sweat an apology, y'all. I feel like that. How y'all feel about that situation? I wish I was live right now. Then we could talk or whatever. I might have to do this um, some days on live with you guys. I don't know. So that way we can be doing it together. Y'all need to make sure y'all get y'all virgin hair fertilizer or y'all grease or whatever you want to put in your hair. You ain't got to grease your scalp. You know, you ain't got to listen to me and grease your scalp. But honey, when I tell you virgin hair fertilizer works, it does. I mean, if you've been following me long enough to see my hair, you, you'll know. I've been using virgin fertilizer, virgin hair fertilizer, and... My hair is doing very, very well. I mean, you can see it. The proof is in the pudding um, itself. So, just trust me, y'all. I mean, I can't say that because you know what? Everything that work on me don't work on everybody else because everything that work on some other folk don't work on me for real, for real. And I ain't telling you no lie. So, just because it worked on me don't mean crap. But I had seen a long time ago somebody had reviewed this on YouTube. And I was like, hmm, you know what? Let me try it. And I tried this way before I had any hair fall out from chemo, therapy, and radiation. I tried this way before and I knew that it worked very well. And um, I started liking my results my hair was growing it was flourishing but then i had a you know i had a setback with the chemo and everything um i had a setback with chemo and stuff so i had to like kind of start all over i guess i don't, don't want to say start over but i'm gonna grease my little hairline right there y'all i'm trying not to put too much in it well maybe i can shoot but yeah i am really in love in love with this virgin hair fertilizer it has done it has done wonders to my hair it works wonders to my hair for real no lie 
I mean, the proof is there. I mean, you can see it for yourself. Let me let me zoom in a little bit more, so I can so we can feel like we I'm just here. Cause sometimes my 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 view show like the outside of the my room. Cause y'all know I'm in my room or whatever. So I don't want y'all to sit behind the be behind the uh. This thing sometimes, cause sometimes I'm be I'm be wanting to, I'm be feeling like showing all of that, and then I got Nivia here. And Nivia have her little toys all over. She, you gonna see toys in the background and everything, child. So yeah, y'all, what how y'all feel about Jacques with his little bad behind? He, I feel like he need a whooping. Who else can we talk about? Um, I ain't really, I ain't really been out in the celebrity status, but since I'm gonna start this series, I'm gonna need to start being nosy and people up in people business or uh, whatever, you know. How about how y'all feel about some of these other YouTubers? How about that? You know, since I'm in since I'm in the YouTube community too, like it's a lot of it's a, it's some YouTubers that I can't stand, y'all. <laughs> I, I can't I can't stand some of these YouTubers. Um, oh my goodness, I don't know if I parted that that right because it feel all kinds of crooked. It really do. It feel all kinds of crooked. So I'm gonna just go on here. But we ain't gonna talk about that. <laughs> if y'all got something y'all can't say in comment down below and let me know. And it better not be me. But anyways, I got something that I love. It's who what's you what YouTubers that you like to watch the most, you know? I wanna know that. YouTubers that I actually watch being I'm a YouTuber, it's kinda hard for me to watch YouTube sometimes. But sometimes YouTube is all I watch. Well most of the time YouTube is all I watch, but a specific YouTuber, as far as the black YouTubers are concerned, honey, my number one that I watch the most is, um, oh my God, do I have a number one? Okay, maybe they number one in categories, okay. Um, we gonna start off with the one who just does random videos about any and everything is Zoe. He the number one. He my number one. I am Zoe. He does, I'm talking about, he my favorite on YouTube, he my favorite on Instagram, he my favorite period especially especially on instagram with those little kids um but the gospel section on instagram we gonna call, man not carlton banks if y'all do not watch not carlton banks you missing out on everything in life <laughs> that's funny you missing out do you hear me do you hear me you missing out i'm not even playing not carlton banks is the hands down the funniest comedian on instagram to me, to me, because I be bust my, I be busting my gut laughing at him, and it be like sixty seconds. You ever wonder how somebody can make you laugh so hard and be so funny in all a matter of sixty seconds? Like seriously, sixty seconds? You done made me laugh my whole insides out in sixty seconds. If y'all don't know, not Carlson Banks, it's spelled with a, I think it's spelled with a, is it spelled with a K? Or N N O T Carlton Banks. He is Lily. He is Sister uh, Bond. He is um, Sister Squint. He all of them. He the pastor. He the pastor's wife. I'm talking about he Lily Mama. I forget all of their names, but honey, them characters. And it's played by one dude, Carlton, Carlton Humes. I think that's his, his name, his real name. And honey, when I tell you he funny, y'all, yo, yo, man, I be crying. I be crying. And it, by his videos only being 60 seconds long than they on Instagram, y'all, it's funny. I'm telling you, if you don't have an Instagram, you're missing out on him. If you like, if, especially if you was the person that was raised in the church, like, because I was raised in the church from, from Bible study to choir rehearsal to vacation Bible school to Monday Night Live, Holy Ween, Hallelujah Night, all of that. I was at the Usher board meeting. I was at choir rehearsals. We were, child, we was at the singles gathering. We was at the couples gathering. We was at all of them things. So, we had all of that at our church. So, and... A good old uh, shouting Holy Ghost filled Hallelujah Sanctified Church is what I came from. So um, everything he does in his videos are on point. Like it's just like he he was at church and he paid attention to what went on in church because I can relate to almost every scene that he does. And it's so funny, y'all. Gotta check him out. Like, got to. Who else is, who else do I like? Um, and that wasn't even a YouTuber. He ain't even a YouTuber, y'all. I don't think he no YouTuber. I've never seen a YouTube video. I mean, not under his name. Somebody might have stole his junk and put it on YouTube. But I've never seen a, a YouTube video under his name. Because he only gets got 60 seconds of, you know, 
time. So, uh, YouTube, you gotta give, you gotta, a couple of minutes you gotta do. But, oh, I don't know how that go, you know. So, that's, we done got that section out of the way already, y'all. I'm trying to figure out who else I, that's, that's in the comedian section. Okay, okay, let's go to mukbangs. Mukbang section. Um, the number one top dog for right now is... <sighs> It's beloved as far as the black people. I know I'm trying to think of if, if anybody else up there with her. I don't think so. It might be some people that's finna catch up. Um, uh, uh, her and I like a couple of other ones too. Like Prissy P. Prissy P is pretty cool. She got a mukbang channel plus she do other stuff too. But most of her stuff is food related. And um, Missy's Corner. She is a sweetheart. Y'all look at that. She is a sweetheart. I'm trying to, I'm trying, I'm just looking at the, the texture in my hair. So, uh, yeah, I would, I like, I watch her videos. Um, some people just seem so sweet right through the camera, you know, you know, sometimes you can feel people. If you watch them enough, I know, I know you can't judge how people might really be in person by just looking at their videos. Cause you really can't cause, but sometimes you probably can because me on the other hand like me i am the same kind of i'm kind of shy in person it all depends it all depends where you see me at and what i'm doing when you see me now if i'm just casually in the grocery store maybe in walmart by myself and i ain't hyped up and i ain't doing nothing then i'll probably be a little bit shyer but if you see me and i'm already turned up <laughs> like the other day i was already turned up like last week i was turned up when i um when I met that subscriber and I'm glad I was because if she would have seen me on another day I probably would have been a little bit more shy I was like real outspoken and real friendly when I did see her because I had Pooby with me I had um, Coco with me I had Nivea with me everything was you know all, I was all hyped up we was gonna get on the merry go round and child she caught me at a good time and I'm so glad that she did and I'm actually glad that she walked up to me because sometimes when I be out in public y'all people be staring at me like I, I be having a feeling that they might know me from YouTube because they give me that look like is that her now one time I actually heard somebody when I went to my baby school I went to school with school and somebody said mm -hmm, that look like her that look like her that look like her then I seen them grab they I literally seen them grabbed their phone and they was like yeah that's her that's her that that is her mm -hmm. they was behind me like why you ain't say hey but they was talking kind of low but they kept saying that is her and one nobody in front of them but me so i know they were talking about me like why you ain't speak man don't do me like that i be feeling kind of little, i be feeling kind of weird is you talking about me or what i thought i mean just say, hey, girl, how you doing? If you happen to see me in public and you know me from YouTube, just speak. You ain't even got to say you know me from YouTube. If you don't want to, just say, hey, how you doing? And keep it kicking. Because <laughs> I ain't going to know you know me. Because just like, I'm, I can see y'all. I mean, y'all can see me, but I can't see y'all. So, it's it's different. It's different for me. I ain't going to know who the heck you are. Unless you a YouTuber yourself and I watch you. But other than that, I ain't going to know. <laughs> So if you see me somewhere in public, honey, just speak, honey. Don't don't be staring at me. Don't be staring at me. I put my shoes on the same way you put yours on, one at a time. One at a time, baby. You know, some people be like scared to speak. Somebody will see me and be like, girl, I thought I saw you. They come and comment on my video and say, I saw you today. And I'm like, if you saw me, why you ain't speak? <laughs> So if you one of those people, next time you think you might see me, speak to me. But then I heard somebody somebody did tell me one time they they saw me and I'm like and they told me where they saw me and and I wasn't there and I'm like that wasn't me. So good thing they didn't speak to me that time because they would have thought I was they I, they would have been speaking to somebody else. Yeah. I'm like who out there look like me? And I'm like whoa. So um, I'm hard. I look just like this in real life. Like. I know sometimes you see people on the internet or in pictures and they don't look like they look in real life. I look just like this in real life. I sound like this. Everything. Um, so, if you see me, just say, hey, girl, how you doing? Go, mouth, girl. <laughs> okay. You know, I'm really, um, 
I'm down to earth, y'all. I'm going to speak to you. I'm going to be happy I met you and all of that. We're going to take a picture if you want to. Um, and all of that good stuff. So, it'd be fun. I don't know. Look, y'all. I just I just came off on the deep end. We supposed to be talking about celebrities. But I ain't got nothing to talk about. I'm going to have to look at some, um, a few celebrity gossip uh, things. It ain't necessarily got to be celebrities. We can talk about anything. Let's just talk, honey. Because I need somebody to talk to, y'all. Just like I said, y'all my friends. So, that's just how it is. I'm going to turn around and show y'all this. I'm using a lot of this. Look. I, I dipped a whole, a whole hole in this. So I'm going to turn around and show y'all. I done fertilized. And my hair is ready to go in a protective style after I'm done fertilizing. I'm, I'm going to put this back in the jar because I done lost my part. <laughs> These clips. Okay. I'm going to clip it. I, I ain't finna open these. I thought I was going to open these. Okay. I found my other clip. So, yeah, y'all. So, um, give me some topics, y'all. Y'all, come on now. Eh? Help a sister out. Once we start talking, we can talk. We can talk, keep talking, keep talking. I think I done already greased that section. I just did it again. It's all right. Ain't nothing wrong with too much grease. Grease my scalp. I love greasing my scalp with this. This is like one of my favorite little greases. Yeah, I can't turn around really and show y'all what I'm doing to the back because I need to see my head from the side so I can know where I'm parting it. Okay, because I don't want to like be double greasing spots and stuff. I want to make sure I get in there. As good as I can, y'all. So, um, so I won't be like putting grease on top of grease and missing spots and stuff because that can easily happen when you ain't paying attention. So, I mean, it ain't gonna hurt nothing, but I want to make sure I got all the little sections in there greased like I want them to be. Okay, so let me get this under control right here. I got one more little section, y'all. We about done now, y'all. I wonder if y'all greasing y'all hair, too. Well, y'all probably ain't greasing y'all hair this time, but listen, y'all better be ready, because I think I'm going to be doing it on Fridays, and we can call it Fertilizer Friday, or we can call it, um, we can call it something else that ain't got nothing to do with fertilizer. I just wanted it, too, because, you know, virgin hair fertilizer is the topic of what I'm going to be doing, so I wanted to have that name in there. Uh, we can call it sit and talk or something. I don't know. Let's talk. Let's talk Fridays. Listen, I don't know. If you're still watching this video right now, try to chime in on some names I could call it, you know. Um, I'm going to try to start back posting on my Instagram, y'all know. If y'all follow me on Instagram, y'all already know that um, I deleted all of my photos. And I'm going to have to restart my Instagram all over again. I mean, I still got my page. I still got my followers or whatever. And I appreciate y'all for still being there. I ain't going nowhere, y'all. I just wanted to revamp, refresh, and declutter some of the stress out of my life. Because sometimes I got pictures that I go through. And I go through my Instagram and be like, man, I wish, I wish, I wish. And want to go back in time. And I know that I can't go back in time. All I can do is move forward with my life and what's going on if anybody worried about my pictures and where they went i still kept them in my phone i the ones that i wanted i was able to keep them in my phone y'all so no worries there i still have all my good important pictures uh so i can look back at the ones that i love and not look at the ones that i'm sick of looking at okay so that is it, you guys. Thank y'all so much. Y'all chime in and let me know what y'all want to do, what y'all want to call it, or uh, if y'all want to get this thing going or not, okay? And it's going to be on Fridays. Remember I used to have Fast Food Fridays? That's don't. That's dead and gone. So we're going to do another Friday. I already I done grease that side so many times, child. I'm just doing the most with this grease, y'all. So let me turn around the back. Y'all can see. What I done did. I don't know where my parts at, y'all. But that is it for my fertilizing Fridays or whatever Fridays. I don't know. I got to think of a name that's more. Mm, I don't know. I'm going to get all of this down. Massage my scalp. Oh, my God. To God be the glory. Okay, we might do a um, fertilizing Friday and then we gonna might listen I'm gonna, I'm gonna think of some things now we gonna might do a massage and Mondays or oh, it's a lot of things that I could do and I want y'all to participate in and it's for y'all okay so I'm going to go ahead and 
do me a good scalp massage after this. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take this down. I'm going to do these little sections right here first. And do a good scalp massage in here. Massage this fertilizer in. And hopefully, mm, hopefully it will bring me great joy <laughs> and great blood flow to my scalp. And promote some good strong hair growth okay so whenever you put this virgin fertilizer in your hair it does leave a pepperminty tingling sensation you know there's a lot of people that i saw that they said mixed it with something else but i don't i get it straight out of the pack and i got it for what it is and that's how i use it so um I seen some people say they mix it with Jamaican black castor oil or whatever, but not me, y'all. Not me. I just use it straight. Oh my god, this feels so good to my scalp. You feel me? You feel me, y'all? This feels so good to my scalp. Yes. So I do a good massage. And then after this, I am ready to put my hair in a good protective style or a little semi-protective style hell i can probably put it in a bun and leave it at that i'm gonna take this side down right here and i, I know this video gonna be long whatever it is what it is it is what it is i got to get it in y'all i'm trying to revamp my channel and give me some different things to do on different days and i come to y'all with something that, that i do every week which is massage my scalp and i do apply virgin hair fertilizer so that's like the easiest thing for me to come with y'all with because it's something that I do often. So, y'all let me know how would y'all like, would y'all like something like that or not? Nah. I know this video is long and drawn out, but I'm going to separate my massage days on camera to my, um, two, two separate days. Oh, y'all. When I tell y'all, y'all see my eyes got low. That's how good the massage feel to my scalp. Like, you can literally feel the difference when you massage it with this part of your fingers. Massaging that virgin hair fertilizer in there. And it's getting ready to get done. And feel so good. Got your eyes rolling in the back of your head and stuff. And what not about So... My next video will be my protective style, y'all. So, stay tuned to my next video. Um, and we're going to do something short and sweet as a protective style. It's going to be a short-term protective style because I want to continue, um, you know, still being able to wear my hair out and not not braiding it up in that beehive and sticking it under a wig or whatever. I want to I want to continue to be able to wear take my hair out and get to it when I need to grease my scalp, okay? So, and I don't want to be stuck under a wig, so that's why I'm going to be doing, excuse me, short-term protective style. Anyways, you guys, thank you guys so much for watching, and um, that is it for now. So, that's all I got to say in this video, and I will holler at y'all later. Bye! First and half of the life got me feeling good, okay? <laughs>